We've had 15 IMPD shootings this year here in Indianapolis, and as we've been reporting here, body cam and dash cam video really play a big role in reviewing the actions of the officers who fire their guns. Tonight, a law enforcement expert weighs in on the dramatic video that we first showed you last night at 5. Rich Nye joins us now with a breakdown of the shootout that happened on the street right outside Lucas Oil Stadium. So this was a Friday night back in September. Police were pursuing a couple in a car who had allegedly just robbed a Southside Dollar General store. Police used a grappler device to stop the car when Rick Tez Williams stuck his arm out the window and fired at police. Door out. That's eight seconds of gunfire exchange between Williams and the three officers in the white SUV. The shooting stops as Williams and the driver, Ariana Morse, get out of the car and run away from police. Then pursuing officers open fire again. Williams goes down, Morse gets behind a barricade. Former FBI agent and federal prosecutor M. Quinton Williams analyzed this video for 13 News. These occupants fled and it didn't give an opportunity for the officers to ensure that they were safe. So as they are chasing down the occupants, they do not know that at any moment, if at any moment, the occupants might stop, turn around and fire. That's what these officers were up against. So they did the right thing. Williams had abandoned his gun in the car. He died. Morris was shot six times but survived. Morris is charged with armed robbery and tonight at six I talked with Morris's father today and you'll hear he, what he has to say about this video. Okay, we'll see you tonight at six, Rich. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank